This is a WECT Cape Fear Business Break. Hello, thanks for watching the Cape Fear Business Break. Today we are talking with Dr. Kenneth Myers, board certified allergist with Allergy Partners of Coastal Carolina. Welcome, Dr. Myers. Thank you. Let's talk about something that is important to us here living on the coast, shellfish allergies. Actually, that's um, in children, it's not much of a common thing, but actually in adults, it is. About three out of 100 have it. And the most common actually is shrimp, followed by oysters and then fish. Well, what does one mean by shellfish? Shellfish actually, it tends to be abroad with most people, but actually for an allergist, we break it down into categories. There's a thing called crustacean. That actually refers to more like shrimp, crab, lobster. And if you're allergic to shrimp, you have a 50% or higher chance of reacting to the other guys. And then there's mollusk, which is like clams and scallops and um, mussels. Now, if you're allergic to crustacean, then there's only about a 15% chance that you have a problem with respect to mollusk. And then there's um, fish. Fish is totally different from shellfish. You're allergic to shellfish, it's okay to eat fish. Well, how do you detect the allergy? There's actually two different ways. You can actually do a blood test that looks for this allergenic protein. The other, the other way, is, which we actually recommend, is actually doing skin testing, where you just prick the skin to a protein and you look at whether or not there's a reaction going on. Actually, this tends to be um, more sensitive, so it picks more up. If we confirm you have an allergy, actually the recommendation is to repeat it maybe every two years, because there's potential you could actually lose it. Okay, and is that the therapy for this? Actually, unfortunately, there's not a good therapy for it. The only therapy is strict avoidance, Go to a restaurant, make sure you notify the chef that yeah, I have that allergy, and then carrying maybe what's called a rescue pin to try to prevent that underlying reaction. Okay, thanks so much. Find out more by going to allergypartners.com. For more details, go to healthfirst on wect.com.